Good morning everyone. Today I thought I would mention a few words about support for your plants. I'm not talking about talking to them, saying nice things, playing music, but I'm talking about giving them support so they can grow up nice and straight and not fail on you. I don't know if I told you on the blog that uh, I had a few squash plants in here when I first started and when I got hot they grew up tall and then they fell over and snapped. So that's when I learned that you need to do support for your plants. We'll start off with the tomatoes here. What I did here in the greenhouse is I put up chicken wire on the, uh, the walls here. And then I made sure as they started to grow, I trained them by taking a long twisty tie, one of my shirts very long, and loosely attaching it to the chicken wire to guide it up. And then it's pretty much found its way, but you still might want to add some more for some support. Here's why you'd keep it loose. This one's grown into it already and it will start cutting into the stem. So you want to keep it loose as possible on the chicken wire. But you might even want to do a little bit higher because as they get heavy, uh, taller, they'll get heavier and start slacking down. So you want to give them some support underneath the Ys here to uh, keep them up. And here's where I got some tied off to posts that are growing away from the chicken wire to give them a little more support. Other plants like the bell peppers here, they grow very tall. In soil, the roots will spread out and give them a nice base. You still might stake them in a soil and give them something to tie to um, grow to, but here in the hydroponics you can't really stake them, there's no soil, but you still need to do a support. So what I did here is I attached the twine up here right on down and then tied it around the base near the plant. And then what I do is I use a vine clip keep it close to the string or more of those twisty ties here. Now we'll keep the main plant growing up with the twine Keep it, giving it support to grow straight. Same thing here with the squash. Squashes go straight up and it's a big heavy plant. So you can see that I have a vine clamp here. It's being stretched out. And up here I have a twisty tie. To keep it growing straight so it doesn't fall over and snap. Here's my bell peppers in the back. I didn't put a board across here to go right with the plant and it came out too far from the rail so I put another string here to bring the string over. It's a little loose right now. But the plant's grown well and you can see in there another vine clamp. I'm doing well. Same thing with the Brussels sprouts. They grow about three feet high. So I have a string attached above it. Twisty tie holding it in there and it's actually tied down to the base the support and then back over here on this tomato I got a combination we have the chicken wire in the back for it to grow on all the way around and then I have a string sticking out here near this bucket so I can support one or two branches here coming out so they go more upwards instead of out over everything. And we have our beans here. All I did is train them. I have, as you can see in here, a little string to get them started on the chicken wire. But then they just kind of follow their own path up it. Same thing with the cucumbers. Cucumbers really didn't have to do anything. They have this um, built in twine that reaches out and grabs things. And so I did that all over here. And it's growing. I have chicken wire even on the ceiling here to give it a little bit more room to grow. And as you see from our last blog and video, cucumbers are coming in after pollinating. There's a monster one down there, almost two feet long. So remember, give your plants plenty of support and I'll give you plenty of good things to eat. Till next video. See you.